So the, the, the idea of this display is, is, is to show that essentially this is, uh, first one is an example of a, a standard efficiency power supply. These other two are higher efficiency uh, power supply designs that, uh, that, that we've worked with our partner vendors to, to develop. Right. To, uh, to increase the overall energy yeah, conversion efficiency of, our, of the systems that we actually deploy. Right. So what what has been done from 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 this one to the these uh, to actually increase the energy efficiency? Ah, good question. So uh, the, the the energy efficiency improvements are generally instituted as a uh, combination of. Uh, Improvements in uh, topology, so that there are many different ways that uh, the circuitry in the power supply itself can be configured, and some of those configurations are more efficient in converting energy. Uh, and the other is through uh, improvements in semiconductor technology. So uh, as the quality and the performance of semiconductor perf uh, components improve, uh, the uh, the amount of energy wasted in those com the components that are a constituent part of the conversion process uh, goes down. Right. So it, it, in terms of efficiency, single output versus multiple output makes only a small difference. Uh, the uh, the multiple outputs have uh, a little bit more or a little bit lower efficiency, but the, but you can equate that with the number of components. If you look in here. There are more components in here, so so if you consider that every component has a little bit of waste, so a multi-output simply has um, more voltage outputs, which means more components inside to do the conversion. So the efficiency is a little bit lower than a single output style supply where there are fewer components, and so there's fewer components for the energy to be wasted. So for th this one, there are connectors for, as you said, various peripherals in, in these configurations. Maybe th those connections go right to the motherboard or to, or to, to some other wiring harness within the system. Right. So it, it's th there's really no distinction between a, a, a multi-output that has more connectors or a multi-output that has less connectors. Okay. The number of connectors isn't that's, really, that's doesn't have a bearing. Get, uh, our components from many different sources. We, we do work closely with um, with all of our system component vendors to to achieve some of the, the higher um, efficiency standards right. and, uh, and, and our servers are yes. custom built uh, and in many cases the, the power systems are custom in some cases the power systems are standard off the shelf we, we use both uh, depending on the system needs and uh, our efficiency targets. Right. Uh, many times off the shelf uh, systems are able to meet those efficiency targets. Uh, other times we uh, we're, we end up going to vendors right. and pushing a bit and helping the vendors to stretch a bit yeah. to hit those efficiency targets for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do have collaborations with a number of vendor partners for, um, for actually driving very high efficiency systems, and our, our hope is that that technology that we collaborate right. with uh, those vendors on eventually makes it into the mainstream. Yeah. So we're, we're hoping to act as a, a you know, leader uh, in, in helping to develop that technology.